Yes, he's going for it. He's got it. Yes, he's got it. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> Just be strong. That's, that's my best two. Yeah, but your hook bait's no, that, good. Your hook no, bait's good. That's my best two. Oh. <laughs> His head is right in front of me. Look at that. That is unbelievable. I think I've wet myself. I have actually. I'm sorry. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. He's taking it. You oh, got no, him, Dad. You got him. No you way. You got him. No, no way. Get in the net. Oh, yes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe it! Yeah. <laughs> Come on, son! Oh, nice, Mark D. Palmer, bang in the uh, bang in the zone. Well, good morning. A little change of uh, change of plan today. Mr. Fairbrass has gone home for his good wife's birthday, and it's quite a proud moment for me and Dovey because uh, we're actually at the helm of the underwater DVD. So, from having watched it as you know non corder employees for many years, and then coming to corder, and then you know it's arguably the biggest project that we do. So, to be involved with it and actually be fishing and doing it ourselves is is a really proud moment. So. I'll explain exactly what's been going on. Um, we put lots of bait out last night, boilies again up and down the margins, exactly like we did the night before we ca caught the big plated, and then a load of particle on the spot that was chop boilie, cell, new grange, and the new one that we were uh, testing for them. Also mixed particles, which included um, hemp, some uh, crushed particle as well, and also loads of sweet corn, because they really, really do love it. So when I turned the cameras on this morning, all the boilie was gone, as it always tends to be, a little bit of particle left. So what we've done, we left it for a little while, put some more corn in over the top, a little bit of a response from the fish this morning, but not a lot. But the thing that seemed to have changed it is actually what I had at the back of my mind, because I think these pressured fish uh, are really tuned into what a PVA bag looks like. And I actually wanted to fish a solid bag over the top of this. Ooh, so smart. what we've decided to do was actually put some clumps, some like sausages of, um, gooed up pellets, so loads of raspberry goo in a tub, and um, mixed it in with the pellets, then dampened them down, and then put them in a plunger down the, down the funnel web tube, squeezed them down so they're like rock hard sausages, and thrown them in. I mean, the ones we've put down now have broken up a little bit, but that got an instant response. The carp have come in, started feeding on them, have gone right down to these goo balls, and uh, Dovey, what were you, uh, what, what are your thoughts with it? Do, do you think that is the way, to, the way to go, trying to get them sort of, uh, less worried about the, the the clumps if you like yeah definitely if you wanted to fish a big bag which you do want to i think um yeah, as you see when the first one's coming a little bit nervous aren't they of the balls i think the more that they eat and the more that they sort of see them clumps around the less they're going to be scared of your bait aren't they so i think baiting for an hour or so like this if they keep coming in then it's definitely going to help when you put your bag in without a doubt definitely and that's a that's a real tip i'd give you i mean these fish have come in the odd one has shied away from the ones nearest the camera, but the ones, these sort of these sausages at the back of the camera, which will imitate a solid bag or a big funnel web stick, have been wiped out really, really quickly. So it's interesting. We're going to sit back now and watch the fish's reaction, and hopefully it won't be too long before I cast my first ever rig out in front of the underwater cameras. Well, the moment of truth has finally arrived. It's been a really quiet day in front of the cameras. The weather has really, really killed the area off totally, but bit by bit the uh, the winds changed around it's gone southwesterly now and a few fish have pulled into the bay and they've started feeding heavily on that corn and pellet combination that's out there now i've got mark d palmer out there putting a little bit of corn over the spot just to sort of semi spook them out of the area before i get the rig in and this is what we're going to put out one of my favorite methods a solid bag time's ticking and i want to get that rig in can you see it tom whoa 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 How is it? One second, mate. Uh, it's landed in shot. It's just out of back of shot. It's right in the centre. Yeah. Um, but it's a little bit far out for the close. A little bit far out? Yeah. It's 
Same spot in it, Dovey. Oh, no, that's fine, mate. Leave, th leave that there, leave that there. Okay. Woo! <laughs> well, here I am with my partner in crime. We've got a rig in. Took only two casts, and you can probably see the two solid bags, actually. One landed a little bit too far out of shot, um, and one landed still probably on the outer perimeter of our, you know, the furthest we're ideally, willing to go. Ideally, we'd like it a little bit closer, but... But we ain't Danny Fairbrass at the moment, but you know, if I puff my chest out and get a bit more confident, I'll, I'm sure, um, you know, to put a solid bag, two cars, pretty much in the kill zone, was I'm happy with that. The sausages that I put out earlier, they're obviously way too big. The solid bag melting, that's really interesting. That's just a subtle amount of bait there. Um, nothing like I thought it would be. Um, one coming in now. One's coming right in now. Had a look at it. They know something's different with a spot, don't they, I think? Mm. Yeah, yeah, they we'll do. Put a new bag out. Yeah, it won't take them long. But I sense there, there's attraction to that, similar to the pink boily that Dan's used so well. That little patch of, you know, red gooey pellets with a, with an inconspicuous hook bait that matches. I've, I'm hoping will be something that that can tame one. So we'll sit back and see what happens. chances of we getting on those bags it's a joke where's that hook bait it's there it's just it's, it's sitting there look right in between them two boilies oh my life i thought you had it dovey do you think it, he had it, it in his I, mouth? Went, went down for it i don't know whether it i, I don't know whether, I, I couldn't quite it doesn't stand out that well does it i need a longer hook link maybe no i just don't no? think they, they're not going directly for the hook bait because it's not standing out enough but mate but they're going for that area they definitely are mate that was that was close that one Oh, oh, mate, they are just, it's like a magnet into that red haze. What we need now is one to get Schnapple, but this is the thing, what would, you know, the, it's a hook bait dilemma now, because I think the attraction in the bag is definitely there. They're not as spooky. I actually thought they might avoid it totally because they they sort of fanned all the pellets around elsewhere, but they're not. They are actually going down to it, like regularly, regularly, like having one mouthful, then spooking off, but every now and again, one's coming and feeding a bit heavier, aren't mm. they, Tom? Yeah, yeah, they are eating it. So if we can master both, obviously, the rig and the hook bait, then I think we could, you know, help ourselves to a carp. Well, what a fascinating couple of hours that's been. Since we put the rig in for the first time with those goo-infused pellets, the fish seemed to really, really get attracted into where the baits were. They were coming down and pecking away at the bags, but they weren't really troughing. So we had two lines of thought. Me and Dovey were discussing it, whether it's them actually spooking off the bags. You know, they're not, they're very suspicious of clumps of bait. They must see it all of the time or when we cast closer to the camera, they didn't come and visit at all. So we're wondering whether it's too much goo, those pellets have been really infused in it, or is it just those clumps of bait? So the thinking cap's on, I'll be sleeping on it, and a definite change of plan tomorrow. Well, a very brief interlude of sunshine in amongst the rain, but the weather did stay constant throughout the night, which seems to have kept the fish in the area. The bait that we put out last night was almost all polished off, all the cell boilies were gone, and most of the particles. So what we're going to do is get a rig in quite nicely and quickly. We've put a little bit of corn over the spot again and fish are coming and visiting it regularly. So let me take you through the rig because we are changing things. The solid bags are off because it did seem like they were spooking off big clumps of bait. Got a little eight mil boily on there. That's a pop-up. So I've actually put a shot behind it to pin it to the lake bed. I've got a size six wide gape on there. Knotless knotted to end trap. That's 15 pounds. And basically what I've actually got is just a subtle soft hair, but then all of the coating going through the eye. So just a little bit of rigidity coming out of the eye and then a drop off inline setup. So hopefully if the fisher got any chance of snaring me up in the weed, the lead will be off. So hopefully they'll be on the surface. And then finally, the actual stick mix itself. I've put, blended up some sweet corn, added a load of corn goo to it, a bit of the activated hemp mix by Mainline and also some of their mixed pellets are in there. And then a stripe of the corn goo on the outside. That's more subtle, not as much color and hopefully, with all that attraction, that'll be enough to lure them straight down to the hook bait. So let's get it out there. No. That 
That's got to be perfect, isn't it? No. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Leave it there. Well, do not drag the lead. Ah, oh, my life. That is like the worst angling nightmare. Well, not really the worst, but proper stressful that has been. First, we worked out that the clip was in the wrong place. When I was using a solid bag last night, it was all landing on the money every time. And I've redone it to cast a stick out and it was obviously landing short. And it's taken something like an hour and five minutes to put a rig on the spot. I just can't put into words just how stressful that was. I know exactly what Dan means, but it just does your absolute Sweden. Right, we've got the rig back in. Um, there's been a couple of close shaves with it. Fish have come in close, but, but they've just missed it. Tom actually believed it went in one of the fish's mouths, but dropped back out. He didn't think they fully took it in. It just had a little shy go at it, and then it disappeared. So now that there seems to be a few fish moving in and out of the spot, we're gonna to try to make things a little bit more blatant. I've actually um, soaked this stick in a bit of the Pineapple Supreme, so it's gonna make the stick mix a lot more pungent in that goo. And then I've actually given it a stripe of the Pineapple Power Smoke. Not loads, just a bit, because the water's coloring up, and I think a little stripe of that now um, in amongst that stick mix might give it a little halo on the bottom that will hopefully make it stand out. There's a chance it could spook the fish away in that clear water, but it's a risk that we're willing to take to see what it does. Um, and a couple of minor rig adjustments. Basically, I've added a couple of blobs of putty now because looking at that rig on the bottom, um, it did seem to come up a little bit off the deck when the fish had sort of been swimming around with it. It's almost like the, the, the end trap had sort of bent itself and sat up off the lake bed. So two bits of putty should cure that. And finally, I've actually changed the color of the end trap also. We've gone for the gravel brown. Um, I only had the 15 pound uh, with me um, in silk color and the other ones were higher breaking strains. So Dovey's pulled his tackle box out and come to the rescue. So we've got the gravel brown now in 20 pound end trap. Hopefully, a couple of minor tweaks. Let's see what it does. That's right in the middle, that's bang on. Thank the Lord. That, I couldn't, Tom, if you said that weren't in shot, I literally, I wouldn't be able to do any better. Yeah, no, but it was. <laughs> I only took three casts this time. <laughs> Getting better. I'm trying to literally land it on a sixpence. Proper stressful, this is, just ain't fishing. Like, I know everyone goes on about, oh, I'd love to do your job and all that. But believe it or not, just, it's the pressure of everything, like the cast, there's fish in the swim, like there's, everything matters, everything you do. It's not like when you film Thinking Tackle and you're just like casting your own time, one cast to the spot. It's not like casting to a spot, every time I cast, it's pretty much bang on. Like I'd leave it as in a fishing situation, but here, it's, it's a whole different ball game. I'm not one for toys on the rods, but I think I need every bit of luck I can get. Get on there, my son. Make the magic happen. Get comfy, that's it. Park your bum in there. You the man. There's been a close shave where it looked like a nice common came down, but it, when we looked at it looked at it back it looked like it just missed the hook bait so it wasn't um, a missed chance it literally just missed the bait and there's fish really close to it I'm not that pleased now with with the choice of hook bait I think it's it's a little bit too inconspicuous on that spot it's tiny they're eating a lot of corn they're eating boilies as well so if I do change it it'll be a change of size and buoyancy so it sticks out a little bit more so for now I'm just going to keep watching these carp. It's a total frenzy out there now. So, um, fingers crossed, this rig has a chance. Right, that rig's been out for long enough. That little hook bait um, is getting attention to the area, but they're just not, they're not hoovering into it. You know, they missed it on a few occasions. There's a lot of fish coming in now. 
So I actually think I want to fish somewhere between what Dan was doing and what I'm doing now. So with, with a slightly larger hook bait. Tom, agreed the orange ain't a bad colour, is it? Orange is not bad, mate. It stands out and they're going down to it, but I just think it's a little bit small and sometimes the leaves are covering it and it's they're going mad now, aren't they? And it's just it's all a little bit erratic out there. I think something a little bit more obvious, something that's going to stand out a little bit that, more might get yourself a bite. That tap into that animal instinct. So when, I mean, what you can conclude from this is when things aren't happening, it's very quiet, then a little tiny hook bait will work to your advantage because it's a safer little morsel it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb when they seem to be more ravenous and more fish in the swim i'd say something larger and more blatant might work to our advantage definitely mate especially as the way they are now they're so quick aren't they so yeah. i think they'll come down and just sort of nail something more of you straight away right okay so we're going to uh, do exactly that larger hook bait um same rig slightly more buoyant hopefully it'll stick out just as this carp comes Go on, lads. No, it's just not sticking out for me yeah. now. Um, worth a rechuck. Now! Well, finally got the rig in position. Took four casts this time, and a lot of pain. Um, but it's landed, it's basically judging the swing back that seems to be the issue. Landed good, just coming in to check it with Dovey. I've literally just moved the camera and we've just caught a carp, just come straight in on that goo bag and uh, just smashed it, had the whole lot, and uh, we can't work out whether the hook went in its mouth or not. Tom thinks it did. I didn't even see it. I just saw it get mopped up. Um, so, you know, they obviously like the stuff by putting it, by putting more of it on, making it a little bit more blatant. That little green haze was just just enough, wasn't it, Tom? It weren't like... Yeah, to be honest, it all happened so quickly, didn't it? The, back, the bag melted, it was a, literally a couple of minutes. I was panning around with the other camera and the fish coming from the right-hand side and just nailed it. I just obviously didn't look for some reason, mate. I'm not sure why. Couldn't well, quite get a good enough look at it. Yeah, I think the way the way they're, they're in the mood today, I think you can catch them on zigs and pop-ups today. I think they're just, they're, they're much quicker, aren't they, moving around and they're more erratic when they come down. You can sort of see that they'd eat that over that tiny little bead you had on before. You have got an hour, mate. I have, and uh, seem to be slowly getting me eyeing. Recast the rod. Oh, it's, it's coming. Oh, mm. God. Recast the rod. Changed, you know, changed the um, setup which we'd done earlier with a slightly more buoyant um, mainline tooty fruity dumbbell. Two thirds of that on the hair, and um, again gooed up. But last time, fish come in, snaffled the bag really quickly. So I've redone it, put it in the kill zone. Fish have just started coming in a bit. But Tom, you've you've been sat in this tent all day while I've been flapping out. That's <laughs> right. What? How would you describe their behaviour? Because it's not like we've seen on any of the other days, is it? No, they're, they're excited, aren't they? It's warm. Um, they're coming in so much quicker from both both angles. You know, usually they're sort of creeping around the like that far left hand side of the shot, sort of coming in, and that's why the bait's always ending up on one side. But today they're just steaming in and coming down and taking a mouthful and then steaming back out again. It's really odd. No, no um, deliberate. We're not getting like a, a real snuffler for long. Like there's a tent. Is that tench here? Go away, tench. I'm not that desperate for an underwater take. <laughs> Um, yes, I am actually off a carp. <laughs> but is this one of the reasons you think that like fluoros work well in the spring? He's actually taking it. Oh, he's, oh, he's, he's just missed, missed it. it. Exactly no. the same thing. He didn't come in as quick though, did he? No, he's just missed it. He's landed by the side of his head. What are the that's chances? Free. That's free. Go on, gums. Gums is going down. Go on, gums. Go on, gums. Make my day, gums. How has this happened just now? What timing? How has it happened? But yeah, that's what they're doing though. They're coming in, they're coming in quickly and going down for one thing. And sometimes it is your hook. He's bait, gone for the bag there, hasn't he? He's yeah. just smashed the bag. Look, the hook is now sat on the lead. Like what? This is what we don't see. And like <coughs> you're sat here watching it, and it's the most frustrating thing in the world. Those goo bags are getting. They're, it's almost like they've missed the hook bait, just smashed into the bag contents, and then now I've got my hook and my pop up or KD style pop-up sat on top of the lead. Brilliant. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Go on, go on. Oh. Has he got it? No. No, he's missed, they're missing it. Why are they missing it, Dovey? I don't know, mate. Good line. Go on, he's nice, he's, Good he's line. been in all day. Good he's line. been in all day, he's been in oh, all day, go on. Oh, man, just eat it. One thing is though, Dovey, that, that rig has landed like a sack of spanners a few times and they've, 
they've not been alarmed by it at all. It's almost like it looks so bad, it can't be a wrong one. <laughs> Surely someone ain't cast that out. <laughs> but no, they, they, they haven't spoke to my office, really, have they? No. But they, they haven't, they, I haven't seen... Go on, it's, lad. It's because Go it's, on, lad. Good line. Good line. Good line. He's got it. He's got, he's got it. it. Oh, no. Yes, he's got it. Hurry up. Go on. <laughs> oh, my life. Wait, wait, Tom, what, what's that green thing there? Wait. Oh, it's off, Davy. No. 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 Mate, don't worry no. about it. Just get back out there. Hurry up. We've got another half hour. Right, this is my um, first ever chance to cast a rig out on the underwater camera. I'm very, very excited. Um, but what I'm going to try and make sure I do is cast out something that I would normally have cast out before and not something that, you know, I've let cloud my judgment throughout the past 10 days. So this is it right here. Pretty much a knotless knot there, just with a, a few turns whipped past the hair in line with the point. I've got a small little snowman on there, just cut down. A semi-stiff hook link about nine inches. I've just curved it at the end there near the hook, just so it sort of grips around on the fish's mouth. And here I've got a green tubing, which I would normally use. I generally don't change the colour that much, to a hybrid lead clip and a three ounce distance casting lead. That's what I normally use, so I'm going to cast it out and see what happens. Tom, absolutely perfect, absolutely perfect first time around. The foam's come off, you are the man. Just be, you move the lead a little bit there, mate. But I think you're all right still. Just just uh, get tighten down really carefully. OK, mate, all done. What result? Absolute result. You are the man, Thomas. <laughs> right. So that, that's our major part of bait. Yeah. Yeah, on the right hand side. Yeah. So we're, we're slightly left of that. You're there. That's, that's where we said we wanted to put yeah. it just past the spot, yeah. Hook link all straightened out, yeah. perfecto mondo, hook point facing down, it's right next to the tiger. When you, when you that lead moved, you know? What, you had, what actually slid along the bottom? The actually bottom. moved, yeah, and the, and the hook bait Do moved you know as well. Ali done the same yesterday and I thought, oh, he's pulled it too, too tight. And I've just done it then literally just sinking the line when it's all on the surface. And obviously the surface tension, I think, is pulling it when I'm trying to sink it. So that's something to note straight away in it fishing, is, mate, how definitely. easy it is. And to I, move the lead. And I think I'm being really gentle as well yeah. and it's still doing it. So. Yeah, so then people that are got the clutch going when they're putting the rod back on yeah. the rest, they're moving the lead, aren't they? Oh, 100% until it hits something, basically. Yeah, which can That's render the rig are. completely useless, hook hooked up in a bit of rubbish, yeah. end of fishing, might no as well fish. not have the rod no out fish. there. No fish. I'm so pleased about that. that the, Mate, that's that's pressure like you can't believe that. Now, I don't know how you do that all the time. <laughs> Tom's first cast has gone in there absolutely perfectly. I knew it would, he's a brilliant caster. Um, and the fish are coming in, it's that time of day. Oh, there's another one coming in now. That's a good fish, fish out of the gloom. Very, very close to his rig already. It's very, very close. Oh, it might be going for it. I think, oh, there's about 10 fish just come into the swim. <laughs> this is properly hotting up now. Um, the afternoons, no matter what the weather's like, the afternoons are always the best time for a bite. And um, we've been plagued with the rain again, um, but the wind has turned round to a southwesterly which is blowing away from here actually, but it's a brilliant wind for fish feeding. Um, and there's loads of new fish in the swim that we haven't seen before, which is always a good sign. If the same ones are coming back in day after day, they know what the rig is. They know the spot like the back of their hand, if they had hands, um, and uh, they're very wary of it. But you get a load of new fish come in and there's not quite as much caution and they're more willing to feed. So he's in a great position. Um, there's loads of carp around. It looks really, really good for a bite. Right, Thomas, talk to us about how you've baited the area and not with the swim itself and yeah. all up and down. OK, well, we've got a, a long margin, haven't we, all the way down the left-hand yeah. side. And because of the cameras, well, well actually, forget the camera. Um, generally, I would bait over a sort of a big area just so the fish are picking baits and moving around and they're not sort of saying one area is scary, basically, which, yeah. which could quite easily be in front of the camera at the moment as well because it is a scary place to be. Um, so I've just baited up and down, loads of loose items, sweet corn, tigers and boilies. 
Um, I would usually just use boilers because they like sweet corn at the moment. I'm putting them out as well. Um, just but, to get them feeding, sort yeah, of get them snuffling. Yeah, I haven't got one obvious patch of bait basically, so they're sort of moving around and hopefully picking up what they want. Um, I, have, I haven't done a mass baiting, so you know they're coming in, demolishing it all, and then going. They're just slowly coming. They've done the same as the baiting, basically, haven't they? The fish. Yeah. Um, nothing's been too scary. Luckily, we got it first time. So. And why have you chosen that hook bait to fish over the top of it? Um, that's what I use normally. I've, I've done exactly what I would normally do. A little little snowman, um, something a little bit bright. Obviously, the, the pink done well for you as so well. You, your, your snowman is like like bits of a pop up. Yeah. And bits of a like two thirds of a bottom bait. Yeah, it's and just the very top bit of a pop up. It's two thirds of a bottom bait um, a cell, 15 mm, so it's only a little bit of a bottom bait boilie. Yeah. Um, and then not even half of a pop up, just so it's not so obvious. It's not sitting so high off the bottom. If you use like an 18 mm and like a 15 mm pop up, it, it, it's almost too scary, isn't it? Because it's, it's, it's basically a pop up in it, so like, where the bright bit is. Yeah. So um, that's whacked in as a bottom bait, um, it's got a little bit of colour on top. Right. Well, it's different from what anybody else has used on this spot, so. We'll sit back and see if it goes. Try and see, mate. Oh, he's a nice one. Should I have brought one by now? No. <laughs> I'm joking. I tell you what, it's nice not having a rig in the water. It's not. Yeah, it is, you're right. <laughs> it is. Mind you, it's exciting. Yeah, I'm it happens, it happens, it doesn't. So what? I'm not under the spotlight. It's only Tom no that like an idiot. Oh, this is close. Come on. Come on, out of the gloom. This is torture. You never know what this feels like doing until you're sitting no, here. No, no, no. Go on. Mate, that's, he's turning round. That's a good fish that time as well. Up a 20 yeah, at least, nice you reckon? a 30-pounder, mate. Reckon? Go on, yes. Oh, he definitely turned away from it, didn't That's he? that really nice, oh, no. really oh, no. nice scaly one as oh, well. No, no, no. Oh, he's pounding. He definitely was coming right towards it, wasn't yep. he? That, that was like a direct... Lovely scaly mirror. turns at last moment. It's like building up to a bite. You can just see yeah. it's building up to a bite. And so, so they're increase. not nervous, are they? They're, he's eating out there and then one's coming out here, you see a shape from a different angle. It's just definitely a better feeding situation, I'm sure of it. <laughs> this, is, this is doing my head in. Are you, are you saying a better feeding situation than the, having a big clump of bait on yeah, the spot? Yeah, yeah. They're coming, they are, they are. They're coming over the spot. That's, that's getting very close, that Tom. It's getting very close. It's getting very close. His mouth's on the zoom. No, oh, he's, not he's having pulled it. away then, and he turn back round. See that? You want it? No, he didn't like it. You see him he go. Didn't, he, didn't, he didn't like that. I can't believe how much they can obviously see. Like a couple of them yesterday, they was coming in from miles away, and they, you could tell they were just going straight for the bait. It's a tiny little thing. Yeah, imagine what they can see from that far away. Yeah. Like they can see everything, can't they? Yeah. Like we can. Go on, you come and he's going and. Um, He's eating right where the lead is. Is he going to spoon? Oh, has he seen it? He seen, has he seen it? No. Oh, he doesn't oh. Like, like it. Big mirror as well. Oh, he's probably moving on the flow though, look, or on the fish. They're, that's exactly how you want them eating, isn't it? Yeah. Like, oh, I haven't got a bite. They're eating like you want them to. Go on. Go on, he's big. Is that Sparky? It's sparky, isn't it? Is that Sparky? Sparky. Yes. Oh, there's a common. I've oh. got to get one in a second. I've got to, surely one's going to take it. Oh my god. Oh. I don't know if I like this anymore. <laughs> it's funny in the beginning. Oh, he's a little common. He's a little common, but is he going to have it? Is he going to have it? Oh. Oh, oh he did it. <laughs> he's pulled back at last moment, didn't he? Small common. See, the thing is, mate, they're, they, they're attracted to it because they're, you're coming very, very close and mm. you're pulling back at the last moment. Yeah. So it's only, a, they've, I think they've seen something. Oh, there's another one really close. He's on the right line. He's on the right line. So he's pulling oh, away, he's pulling he's away. Again. It's yeah. the same common, isn't it? He wants it though, doesn't he? He does, yeah. But he, see, that, that's pulled point. up, swum round and then fed. That knows, doesn't it, that there's something wrong with that. 100%. He wants to eat no, it, he does, yeah, definitely. He, he's definitely seen He'd the same thing. He'd have taken it otherwise. Go on, he look, oh, oh. now they've seen it straight. So this, this is the other, this is- that is, him as well though? No, 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 he's no. from off and he's coming from the same side. The other thing is, is that I haven't changed the colour of it, which I've got green tubing and I've got a green hook link on. That, right, but I uh, think that's actually blended in really well, Tom. I think that green hook link on that bottom's right. pretty good. I think if anything, the, the brown colour would actually be too, too light. Too light. Right. 
Go on. Go on. Go that's on. close. That's, that's close. That's gums as that's, well. Is it? Yeah, he's been eating all morning, hasn't he? He's right on the rig there. And he's just shuffling off. Oh, 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 oh. Go yes. on. Oh. Oh, oh God, what did he do? What? What? He stopped in his tracks for he that. He stopped in his tracks, And then yeah. for some reason didn't take it. I don't know if it was because he was too slow. Look how many fish. We've never had this many fish in front of the camera in one go before. No. No, we haven't. Oh, 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 this is a bite. Go on, go on, go on, go on. This is a bite. No, he missed it. He oh, didn't he's go a big for common, it. mate. He's big, isn't he? He's a big common. This he's is a big common. This is just too much. Oh, that was on the perfect line as well. Why didn't he take it? Why didn't he take it? There's no reason for him not to have taken that. Well, I can't... There is. It's called a hook. And a hook no, link. No. And a, and it was right and a lead. Right. No, mm -hmm. I'm not having it. Tom, Tom, that's perfect, mate. That's perfect. Leave it there. I've just got to pan slightly right. That, that semi-stiff coated hook link is definitely, definitely pushing that bait mm. well away from mm. the lead. And I you think know, that's, that's one, that's that's one thing that I've it. definitely got from this. I mean, I knew it anyway, and that's what I've always wanted it to do, and that's why I use foam, and that's why I use quickly balanced baits more so than any other reason. But it just definitely says to us now that you, you get rejected all the time, and if it doesn't reset, Right, this is, You're this only is fishing close. for 20 this minutes. Is... No. Mm. If, again, they don't take the hook bait, I think there's something, either they can see the rig, or um, they don't like the hook bait enough, so then I'll change it. Right. Um, okay, and how does it feel to have a rig out there? Oh, it's, it's, it's heart-stopping. You can't. You don't understand what it feels like until you're sitting <laughs> here. And that casting out there is such pressure. But, well, you've um, done pretty good, mate, getting it, getting it uh, you know, within the kill zone a couple mm. of times in you know the first cast that's excellent mm. it's just just hard on the head because you're sitting there you think thinking constantly about what's going on aren't you yeah it's not real life at all it's not it's real exciting. life no it's it not real exciting. life perfect you the man you the man that is absolutely perfect absolutely just drag it back ever so slightly go on keep dra dragging it go on go on that's it that's perfect absolutely perfect mate leave it there see that's what i don't want is that phone to stay on no, look, great big group of them coming through. Jesus. Yeah. There we go. Bosh. Yeah, that's away, that's away from the tubing. It's that's perfectly fine. outstretched. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. You happy with that? No, I'll take that. You got a man. Oh, oh, oh. Got him. It's totally done me. Just totally done me. I think uh, you might have had your pants pulled down there, son. That is right, but the difference <laughs> is that the second fish that come down picked it up, didn't it? Yep. Whereas it, they weren't getting picked up before I thought the hook bait was wrong, changed it to a goo one, and it did get picked up second yep. go. Second go. It's completely mugged me. Yeah, it's totally and utterly mugged you off there. I'm going to even write that. Tom is totally <laughs> mugged off by small mirror. What happens when the big ones come in? <laughs> <laughs> Mugged. Uh, big ones. So, what's the verdict then? You've, you've had the first proper pickup yeah. since four o'clock. Yeah. You've changed the bait yeah. ever so slightly. Ten put, minutes later. Put a, a goo yeah. infused topper yeah. on your cell bottom bait. Yeah. And they've picked it up. Mm. Well, and he's well, got away with it. Well, the, well, the chat was before, wasn't it? What is going wrong? Because the fish were feeding really well, really pleased with the bait in the way that they were feeding. Um, when I cast the first one out, they was going down to it. They looked like they was going down to it, but then sort of swerving away, sort of two or three inches from the bait. Yep. Um, so then after two and a half hours, we come to the conclusion that the hook bait weren't good enough because there shouldn't have been anything else that was wrong. The, hook, the, the rig was sitting perfect. Everything looked right. Changed the hook bait to a goo hook bait. First one come down, shied off a bit. Second one took it. I didn't hook it. So what are you? We, we're getting very close to the end of our your first day. Yeah. Um, and uh, what are you going to do in the morning then? I, I'm going to I'm going to try and keep things constant. So I've changed one thing and it's worked. 
I'm going to put it out again tomorrow. Exactly I, the same. Exactly the same. Right, okay. Exactly the same as what I put out now. Right. Um, if I get picked up and I get done again, then it's a rig thing then, isn't it? I've got the hook bait right. Mm. It's a rig it thing. It could also be that the light's dropped. It could It could quite easily be that, but... And, and yeah. the, the fish aren't seeing everything else mm. as much. No. The rig may be better camouflaged, but certainly, you know, it, it seems more like that the hook bait is more attractive to mm. them now than it was... Mm. It's too much of a coincidence for us to say it's the hook bait and I had it in my head. That's for some reason, they ain't taking that hook bait. So it looked like they've, they've been near it a few times, haven't they? Yep. And when they, I thought that they should have taken it and they would have taken it and they didn't. So that's why I changed the hook bait, changed it and it, it went in the fish's mouth. Mm. But it, it was in there for a long time as well, didn't it? it I would was, love yeah. to get back on that footage. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm pleased it's not just me. Mate, I, I'm th 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 it's this not is just me that gets mugged Yeah, off. I know, <laughs> no, but this is the thing though, isn't it? You've got to take it as a given that you're getting mugged off. You're getting mugged off, you, yeah. Every single rig you put out is going to do it. So you've got to have a rig that resets itself, and that has. That so has, yeah. even though we've been mugged off, or I've been mugged we're off. We're ready for another go. We're ready for another go. Right, that's the end of uh, my first afternoon's underwater fishing. I had the rig out for probably three hours, I reckon, in the end. I got spat out once, I had lots of inquiries, but I think I got out today that the hook bait is now good enough. It wasn't first. So I'm going to put out exactly the same tomorrow morning and see how we go. You hear the cast going out. Tom, you are a god. You are a god. Pull it back ever so slightly, ever so slightly. Go on, pull it back ever so slightly. That'll do. Perfect to Mondo. Foam is coming off. Rig is falling. Rig is falling actually further away from the camera. Um, but we'll we'll take that, mate. We'll leave, we'll leave it where it is. The one thing I would say is there's not there's not many boilies. In, in in sight shape. at all. Right. There's there's tigers, there's and yeah. there's corn, yeah. but there's not many boilies. I don't can't see any boilies in fact actually on the spot. Right. That that's the only thing. That's the only thing and I don't think it's a major thing. I think you were right to get Tom to to get Ali to bait up and down the margins. Yeah. That that that's that's about the spread you had yesterday, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, that, that I think that's about the spread that I've got everywhere. So yeah. everywhere they're swimming there's little bits and bobs. Yeah. See what happens, mate. If, Let's um, see what happens. if we don't get any inquiries, I'll, I'll put some more bait out, but we'll just take it as it comes. Okay. Oh, get ready, get ready, get ready. Got it. Oh, Done me again. Done ya. It was a big one as well. <sighs> Tom Dove. <laughs> a few words. I feel so, so ashamed of them. Why would they do it to me? Twice now, you Twice. have had your pants pulled down. Really badly as well. Yeah. In the Properly mouth. Properly in the mouth. In the mouth, out the mouth. Mm. That's unbelievable. On, unbelievable. On your bestest, bestest rig that you catch everywhere else mm. on. Let's see what happens next time, I'm sure we'll get another chance. <laughs> <laughs> this is horrendous. He's actually moved it slightly yeah. closer to the camera as well. Went right in his mouth, come from what I thought would be the right angle as yep. well. Feeding, yummy, yummy. Oh, 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 oh. That was it. That was it again. That was the hook bait again. Million percent. That was it. That's been in his mouth again. Here's one. Here's one. On. This on the line. Go That's on. on the line. Go on. Oh. Oh, that was close. That's a big fish as well, that. Well, mid 20, isn't it? You're going to be like an old man by the end of this. We'll be helping you. You'll be all frail. <laughs> You'll have like the butt section of an infinity, like helping you walk along like Got that. Is he all right there, Tom? Is he has him. Do you want something to drink, Tom? No. <laughs> 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 oh, yes. Oh, 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 yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, oh. No, oh, I'm to bring no. that in. That is a you joke. You are being mugged off that is a royally, joke. yeah. That is an absolute joke. So, Wait, three looks, times three this time. morning, yeah. in its mouth, yeah. out of its mouth, yeah. what are you going to do? Um, I think I'm going to put... I was, I was going to say that I'm going to change one thing at a time, but it looks like I need to change more than one thing. <laughs> no, I, think I'm, I think I'm just going to put a bigger hook on first. Right, okay. Go and tight then, son. 
Well, it's absolute like fish soup out there this morning. Um, the rig has now been in the fish's mouth four times, four different fish. Just happened a minute ago while he was tying another rig. And what he's basically going to do is shorten the hook link down and make the hook bigger, which I completely agree with. The fish are picking up the hook bait. They're not scared of doing that. So by making the hook bigger and the hook link shorter, hopefully it's going to be harder for the fish to get rid of. The hook's going to snag in their mouth a bit easier and the shorter hook link is going to tighten up to the lead quicker. So he's going to put that one out there and we'll see the fish's reaction to that. But this is really, really interesting stuff. Well, this is the rig that's been in and, in and out of the fish's mouth four times now and once last night. So I've decided to rear it in and change it. Um, as you can see though, the hair has tangled around the hook. Um, which has obviously done it when the fish has spun the hook out because I've cast that with foam and there's no way it could have done it on the way down. Um, so I am going to change it. And this is what I'm going to change it to. It's a slightly larger hook, um, a slightly different pattern as well. It's a choddy pattern, one that I love to fish with. Um, we'll cast it out and give it a go. It's a slight, it's slightly short hook link as well. It's still the semi-stiff. Um, that will reset itself and hopefully it works this time. Perfecto Mundo, yes, perfect Tom, right in the middle of screen, absolutely perfect, it's laid away from the lead, the foam's come off, as it's gone down, you are the man. Come superstar, come on, see what you've done, <laughs> that's your lead fishing weight there, yeah. your ledger in, yeah? Yeah, ledger in, yeah. Mate, no floats. No floats, just ledger in, there's your ledger weight there, yeah. there's your tubing up there, Yeah. perfect mate, perfect. Couldn't have asked for that any better. They're coming in to feed. The box. That's a that's a nice common. That's that one with just a couple of bits cut out of his tail, isn't it? 15, 18. Tail common. Oh, 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 lads, lads. Bummed. You have been royally bummed How was that there. Well, to be fair, that when that came in, it came in against like got moving towards the lead yeah. so there's no way that it's even tightened against the uh, the lead it's just picked it up and because the hook link's completely slack it's just yeah. out it's come perfecto mundo that's perfect mate that's perfect just the right distance from the camera right in the middle of the shot really really good i'm just going to pan slightly but that's all it needs Oh, oh! This is looking good, gents. Fire it up! Fire it up! That's a new clip. That that is. Yes. Got him. Yes. Go on, Thomas. Oh my God. <laughs> I think I'm going to have a heart attack. <laughs> That's that long one. That's been is it a carp? Uh, it's a carp, mate. Yeah, yeah definitely it's a carp. A carp. It's got a oh my sweet lord. And this is on the size six, size six chod, shorter hook think. link. Yeah. <sighs> I'm shaking. <laughs> That's so exciting. If only everyone could do that. He got nailed straight away, didn't he? Yeah, definitely. <gasps> oh, don't do that to me. So the bigger hook and shorter hook link works, mate, didn't it? Yeah, definitely. Eh? Yeah, it did. I, I, do you know what? I still, I've still got so much confidence in that other rig that got blown out. We'll put it I, back out again. I, that's what I'm going to do. I think. I think I'm going to put the other one out just in case that hair was tangled. But this one seems to have worked perfectly, isn't it? Please, please don't come off, mate. So this one got rejected once and then straight in, wasn't it? I can take that. Well, not on this cast though. It wasn't rejected on this cast, was it? No. This was the first pickup on this cast. It was only the last cast. Oh. A bit bigger than 18 pounds, yeah, Tom. Yeah, he's beautiful as well. <laughs> Get in the net. Go on! Go on! Yes. Come on, Thomas! Have yeah, all, totally and again. Missed. Yeah! Right. Quality. That's, I've never done anything exciting like that in my life. That's a lovely carp, that, Tom. <laughs> Really nice carp. Well done, son. That's wicked. <laughs> Get him. Put it there, son. Thanks, mate. Thank you very much. Wicked, mate. Wicked. That's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Well, that was the most exciting thing that's ever, ever happened. That was wicked. 
Look, I'm absolutely shaking. My nervous system is shot to bits. That's wicked. We've got it in the net now. Um, I'm just going to tie it. We'll try and tie a new rig. Um, we're going to get them out, have a look at it. I'm going to put out the same rig again, um, just because it's worked. I still sort of want to put out that other rig that I tried before that, so that got blown out because the hair was tangled. I just want it for my own peace of mind. Um, but let's see if we can get this back out and uh, do that again. I want to want to see if we can. Perfect, Tom. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Leave it there. That is absolutely perfect. You couldn't have done that any better, mate. Just slacken off. That's it. The tube's fallen down. Lovely. The foam is still on. It, it's. Uh, let's just see where it where it falls. It's um, the foam's breaking apart. Bits coming off of it. Um, that you couldn't have done that better by hand, mate. I tell you. Well, look at that, a typical Oxford mirror, caught in a very untypical way. 23 pounds, 12 ounces, this one, but just look at him, absolutely awesome. I've actually got the rig back out there already, so hopefully we can get another one, just brilliant. Here we go, here we go, get ready. Get ready, lads. Get, guess it. Get on it. Here we go. Here we go. We got him. Oh, he missed it. He tried to go for he it. He actually to take missed it. it. He tried went to take it twice, it. Tried... actually. <sighs> that was close, man, wasn't it? That was very, very and close. And that's, that's the small plated there. Is it? I think. It's, it's a that. massive fish, that is. That is big. That is a massive fish. The thing, it, the, the thing is, that common come from this angle, and he just went over the top of it, and he missed it, and then tried to suck it in again, but a hook link strain, because it it's from here to here, isn't it? It's going, it was going to what? Like, it didn't move enough. It was going it? underneath his chin. Yeah, hook so Gums is having. Oh. Did you mouth it? You sucked it in? It's just, oh. It just doesn't get cool though, does it? I'm not, I'm not worried you about that. You have been turned over by gums. He turned you over as well, Dan. Oh, 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 oh. Go on, yes, go on, yes, go on. He's having it, he's having it. Yes, that's got him. No, he's got him. No way! No! Yes! Yes, the lid was off the floor. The lid was off the floor. That was the bin bag. And you've been royally mugged off there, Thomas. <laughs> We're gonna have to watch that back. That was horrendous. The, yeah, there was. It, it, the it, stop it. The hook was in his mouth for a second, wasn't it? There was your rig. There is now your rig. New clip. Started it. That mm. was epic. That hook must have gone in its mouth. It did, mate. It, it was. No, but I'm, no, I mean, mouth. it must have got like the hook point must have gone in. Mate, it was in yeah. its mouth. It swam off and it just went boom back out. Whoa, 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 it's got oh, by yeah. it. It's got. Doing it again. You've got it. You've got him, Tom. You've got him, Tom. You've got you've got him. Tom, you've got him. <laughs> Come on. He's hanging on the end. What is that all about? Yes, you've got him, Tom. That was unbelievable, wasn't it, Dan? It was, mate, yeah. It that, was. that first time, I didn't quite see what happened, but I think the hook bottom went into his mouth and it just didn't properly take hold. Shook and then mate, come out. Oh, it, it was, was there. there. It swam off the bottom. The lead, I could see the lead. Yeah. It was just hanging there like yeah. that. And when it just went... And spread it out. And just spat it out. And then it went down and it was all in a clump and... The... Is it the same fish that picked it up again? No, 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 no. A completely different one. No, Do you know that what was one the, this that is? Was, that was a bin bag. Yeah. And I think this is one of the... Big simos. One of the bigger simos, yeah. Come on, go in the net. Number two. Get in. Wicked. You the man. Number two. You the man. Let's get him back out there. Well, there's the one that nailed it. We've just got in the net now. That's the second one we've had, obviously, on that rig now. Um, I'm going to put this back out, but the only thing I'm going to change is the bottom bait on there. I've had two different goos on as, as my hook bait, and I just want to take one off just to see if I can find out what's actually working for me. Um, the weather's absolutely perfect now. It's still about 14, 15 degrees, but it is raining. Um, it's looking good. Hours running now, baiting up for me. I'm going to get it back out. Oh, you are a god. <laughs> perfect. Absolutely perfect. Don't move a muscle. Well, here he is, carp number two, a 19 pound six ounce Simo, caught on a, um, the same semi-stiff hook link, about seven inches long, a size six choddy, um, actually got blown out just before this one took it, but I think them goo hook baits are doing the do. Let's get him back. You can even see on the zoom, 
the, the little curve you put in the end of the yeah. the um, semi-stiff hook link. And obviously that'll be straightening out a little bit more than it is because it's pulling, pulling yeah, straight. Yeah, it's pulling up. So when, I think it's when it sits on the bottom that it sort of takes that yeah. shape. And then when, it's it not, when it's not under tension. But yeah. uh, look, fish moving over the top. You could have done with the foam coming off a bit sooner, but mm. slow sinking hook bait with a bit of foam on, yep. stops the hair tangling, yep. stops the rig tangling. Yep. And with that stiffness of that hook link, it just pushes it all away. Okay. Okay, well, that's the theory. Practice. We're going to get a bite, we're going to get a bite. We're going to get a bite, we've got, ooh. oh. That was Mr. Ang that's that was Angry Kid. That was Angry Kid, wasn't it? Oh my, is it? Yeah, yeah it is, it's, yeah. Bit, it's a little plated. It? Oh my God, please. Come on. Please take Come my on. hook bait. Please take it. Turn around, lad. Please take Turn it. Turn around, lad. Turn around, be a mate. Turn around. Take that hook bait. Right, it's coming round for another pass. If it don't get it this time, that is coming round for another pass. Take that hook bait. Yeah, it's coming back towards it. Take it's it. It's coming back towards it. Oh, and he's waddling off into the distance. Has he got a slightly... Is that the one with a slight split in the tail or not? Go down. Look. Go down. Oh, my God. You know, you, you will not be able to guess what has just happened. The little plate is just acting a bit No, no. The little plated hasn't just tried to take your hook bait. The big plated. The big plated has just tried to take your hook bait. We didn't do it, obviously. That's mad. What happened then? Sit yourself down. What's that, the box coming? Mate, the big plated has just come in there and it just looked at it and just got well, it didn't like suck that. it in. It didn't suck it in. What a chance. Imagine catching that again, that'd be mad, wouldn't it? Okay, Dan, I'm gonna reel in, yeah? Yeah, go for it, mate. We're recording here on the underwater. Actually, Tom, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't record for a minute. There's a fish coming in right on the line. There's a fish coming in right now. Right now, really close, really close, really close. He's on it, he's on it, he's on it, he's on it. It's in his mouth, it's in his mouth. I think, oh, it's out of his mouth. I can't believe it. <laughs> he's all the way in his mouth for, oh, what seemed like forever. Two or three seconds in his mouth. Okay, so since that last fish, I've had to rig in the water for well, probably another couple of hours now, um, and I've been done three times at least. Um, it's really annoying, really frustrating, but obviously we have the, um, the, the cameras out there so we can see exactly what's going on. So I've reeled it in, and what I'm putting out is that. Um, it's exactly the same hook bait. It's whipped KD style though, so it's a size six curve, still a big hook, um, six inches of semi-stiff end trap, but I've got the last inch there that's soft and I think that's probably the problem at the moment that the hook's going in the mouth and not having movement to get catch hold so I'm going to get that one out and uh, see if it works. Tom you are a god perfect 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 right in the middle of the shot the right distance from the camera the foam's almost come off loads <laughs> coming through already yeah hook bait is there yeah just that's exactly where it landed yeah what, where's there, the there it is on the on the close you see, it's just pushed it away. It's just enough buoyancy in that hook bait just with the away. stiffness of that semi-stiff to push it away. Yeah. Just enough. It just it falls quite. It drops quite quickly, but it but it always but drops it away it. from the lead. Go on, go on, go on, go on. He's got it. He blew it out. Just totally put, mugged me off. Oh, oh he's no. gonna take it. He's gonna take it. He's got it. He's got it. <laughs> yes, come on, Tom. It's a big common. Yeah. It's a long common, mate. Yeah, it's a long common. That was very, very lucky. We just got that on camera, mate. Well, only just. Only, only just. Second, second chance on the KD. Right. That was, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Second chance on the KD. That properly got him and all. Oh yeah. Properly got him. He come down at a pace at a right angle and everything, didn't he? So what are you going to do now then? Because that's 50%, isn't it? That's 50%. What, two pickups. I'm going to put a cog on. Yeah? Hmm. I think so. I just, the thing is, they're getting it in their mouth. It's just, I just think there's too much movement. I don't think you said it must be just too it's much movement. It's not all tightening up quick enough. No, it's not, it's not happening quick enough. When, when you had the um, plate and when you had your other ones, it was like instant. As soon as they picked it up, it was tight and it was on the lead, wasn't it? Yeah, Whereas, I was using a stiffer hook link than you're using as well, though, wasn't I? Yeah, but, but Dan, it's straight, though, my hook link. It's dead straight all the time, isn't it? So no matter what, whether it's stiff or not, it's in their mouth. Yeah, yeah. They certainly like their muck baits, though, don't they? Cool. It's 
unbelievable really how many times they're taking them. Unbelievable. If you had uh, just a standard bottom bait on now, yeah. how many bites would you have got? Not many at all. I think I would have had maybe two pickups yeah. today, if that. Because they're not coming in and eating all of the food, are they? They're coming down straight for it. Dump the lid again off that clip. They come off every time. They're... Go on, get in the net. Get in the net. Got it! Yes! Come on, Thomas. Number three. Huh. Nice Good Lovely. man. While Tom's getting another rig sorted, we're going to sort the fish out for him. Just transfer it into the waist sling and everything, get it ready for photographing. It's about half five now and the fish are really feeding hard. So we need to get a rig out there as soon as possible. So as always, what we're going to do is break the net down. So just take the arms out of that, get the pole out of the way. And then I'm going to transfer the fish with the line completely slack. I'm just going to slide it into the waistling, which just sits on the surface like so. I literally haven't got to even pick the fish out of the water. There you go, just slide him in like that. So he's in the waistling. Everything's completely slack. So there's, see, there's no tension on that line whatsoever. I'm just going to check his fins are flat against his body which they are. So when I lift him out, all his weight's not going on one of his fins bent backwards. And then we can transfer him onto the mat like this. This is already zeroed. So when we take him out of the net and actually weigh him, we're going to get a true weight. But that is how to take him out of the water. Right, so put him down on the mat. Just get that line out of the way. Oh, it's caught there. Cheers, yeah. mate. What a lovely, lovely carp that is. Look at that. Proper chestnut common, beautiful. Love to catch that one myself. All right, mate. Just putting my hand over his eyes there because it's very bright out of the water for the fish. So if they start flapping around, covering them up like that or putting the net over the top of them to make it a bit darker, will most of the time calm them down. So let's see if the hook's still in. No, the hook's come out in the net. So we've got to find that now. That's the hook out. Yep. There we go. You've I got that, mate? Yeah. Good man. Yep. Just in that zip there. There you go. Lovely. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Just take my watch off. And then, again, just cover his face up if he's thrashing about. And literally, you can slide him out of there or just lift him over the top of the net. I'm just going to lift him over the top, like so. There you go. Net out of the way. What a lovely carp that is. Absolutely classic common carp. And then fold that over the top. And then the zips at either end, making sure you don't zip up any fins in there. As I've said, we've already taken the weight of the sling off the scale, so we've wound them back a little bit. And we'll use our weighing crook, which is doubled as a camera cleaner for the underwater cameras. Just check his fins again. And if I hoist it, Mr. Hamidi can read it. Looks like it is. 22 pound on the nose. 22 pound on the button, yeah? That's it, mate, yeah. Wicked, okay. While he gets some more hook link, he'll be yeah. happy with that, won't he? He will be. <laughs> okay, so what I'm basically gonna do, drop it back in the edge. This is gonna float because of these floats on the top of it. Then Tom's gonna come back, get his rig all sorted, and then we'll get some pictures done. Look at that beautiful, dark Oxfordshire common. What an amazing carp. That was the second one that picked up the KD rig. We had one spit out not long before, but this one didn't like it much at all. Seven inches, and then it was that extra supple bit at the end, I think, that caught it for me. Um, we're gonna put it back out and see if we can get another one as quick as we did this one. Perfect, Tom, perfect. Absolutely perfect, mate. Just leave it there, leave it there. 
Enough. The hook link's not tangled or anything. It's just fallen down slightly away from the. Um, yeah, I, I, I will leave that there. I think I don't think yeah. that, it looks a little bit messy, but I don't think there's actually anything. Mate, there's a it. stick there. How are they going to know? What's no, the? No, you know? No, that, you that just can't. You can't. Really following the bottom well. Yeah, it? it's, it's that. The dark matter, mate, is excellent. That's going over the contours as well as anything can go over them. I have 110 yeah. percent seen the big common. Just oh, the big common. The big, big common. Right. One, that's well over forty pound. One hundred and ten percent. And I didn't want to tell you why you were getting the rig ready and yeah. everything, but the small plated has been feeding like a madman in the swim right, okay. when there's no line right. in there. All right. Okay. All right. Well, I'm glad you told me now, not before the yeah. car. I wasn't gonna. I weren't gonna. Don't think mate, it I know what it's like maybe. trying to cast out there when somebody. <laughs> it's full of fish. There's loads of fish. There. It's it's not what you want to hear. No. So I just keep stum. And I just let it get in there, and then, and then when we can all sit back and laugh Relax. about it, I'll tell you what's in there. It's, it's looking cock on for another one, mate. Absolutely bang on for another one. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh! Twice. Twice. He just, he just, that's a good fish, that as well. Look how much it's clouded up. Mate, it is like an aquarium out there at the moment. How many fish are out there, Tom? We've never, ever seen it like this. It's unbelievable. This is just, it's just incredible. I've been quite say if another fish spooks off that tube to redo it, there's so many out there, yeah. you're not going to get this chance again. You've just been really, really unlucky with that, and that isn't going to reset. No. <laughs> big plated, big plated. Big plated. Oh my God. The big plated is back in the area. The one we caught in our last excursion is back in, and there's millions in behind it as well. Oh my God. It's unbelievable. Yes, Thomas, straight into the screen. Well done, mate. Well done. Oh, he's going to go for it. Has it gone? He's, gonna, he's got it. It's a big one. It's the that's box, the, isn't that's it? That's the box, isn't it? Oh, my God. That must have had it in its mouth. It must have. <sighs> Did you get that time code down? 1809. Well, even though uh, Tom has caught three fish today, I think it would be fair to say that we're ending on a bit of a low, aren't we? Yeah, I mean, um, I've just been spat out twice in a row again, um, and that's after catching one on the KD. Well, it's, it must have been in four or five mouths at least, isn't it, since the recast? Well, yeah, it hasn't been, in, it's been in the mouth, properly in the mouth twice, I think, maybe yeah. three times. The well, other two times it's been going in the mouth, but even so, I mean, how many times has it got to go in there? When we're talking about rigs, and we're, we're saying yeah. how particular we've got to be, yeah? yeah? Have you ever used it with that buoyancy of hook bait set up like that? Exactly like that, yeah. You have? Yeah, yeah. Right, because I thought you always had the buoyant bit on the inside, no, closest not all to the hook. Uh, I tell you, at Sky Lake, I was fishing it like that with a bit of cork on the top. Do you remember? Yeah, yeah. And how, how many fish did we catch then? Yeah. It was exactly the same as that size six curve, slightly longer because we were fishing over a little bit of a rough bottom. But it was a little bit of cork on top of a bottom bait and it just sank on top. It was exactly the same. So, like, I mean, how, what, how many fish were doing it that trip? You've got, it makes you think, doesn't it? It does make you think, yeah. It's amazing, really. I mean, it's been in so many fish's mouth today. Yeah, we've caught three, which is great and successful, but for the amount of times it's been picked up, I'm not happy. No. Well, you can sleep on it, mate. You've got one more day left, haven't you? I'll get them tomorrow. Oh, mate, you've done well today. I'll you've done them. brilliant. Yeah. Well done, lads. Well done, well lads. Done, lads. <laughs> well done, lads. Um, but, well, you know, tomorrow's another day, isn't it? And we've, I'm sure you'll have a think about it tonight. And mm, same made, baiting. Yeah, same baiting. Same That's worked same, brilliantly. Same everything, I think. I think it's worked excellently. They've, they've just they've done everything, but not... Just a little them. tweak on the last couple of inches of the rig, I think. Yeah, but what way do you go? That's the problem, isn't it? What, what happens? You're tired now, mate. Uh, in the morning you'll be all nice and fresh and it's a look, little plated. Look, 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 that's a little plated. That is a little plated in the edge of the shot. And that one he's going straight down for it now. He has seen it. Cool. He's going down for it. He sucked it in. He's got it. He's got it. <laughs> <laughs> Get in! He's only hooked it. It's still is that it? Still in the swim? Still in the swim. It's on Tom, it's on. I know mate, I've got it on. <laughs> Mental, you couldn't write it, could you? You I could not write it. Absolute joke. 
an absolute joke. I don't think that rig was tangled then, do you? It was, no, it wasn't. <laughs> but I, that's been in two. How many fish is this? Like, does this time I've cast out, how many times has it been in fish mouth? Two, three times. At least, at least two, and maybe the box three as well. Box Common's yeah. mouth, I think it picked it up, blew it out, and picked it up again. But we're we're so low on visibility now because there's so many fish in the bay feeding. You just it's difficult on the zoom camera to see what's happening. But uh, watching it makes you think that you should be catching much more. We should but be catching much we, more. We should be, yeah. There, there's something else that we can change to do it, but I, I don't quite know what it is yet. Right. I'll, I'll, I'll be thinking about it tonight, but... I think, I think one thing is that you've got to take... Like I know we keep saying it, but it's got to reset itself, hasn't it? The rig, the rig has, has got, got to, to the reset itself. The the hook bay is absolutely key, isn't it? Because if it hadn't, then... Oh, you... If it hadn't, I wouldn't have lost that. <laughs> Don't. All I can do is laugh. Thomas. All I can do is laugh. The lead hadn't come off. Do you think? It, do you think that happened? <laughs> this, is, this is just like. <laughs> is. Da, da, da. <laughs> what can you do? What can you do, mate? You've taken that amazingly well. That rod would have been in the water if that was me. You can't do anything about it, can you? No, but even so, I'm not known for taking things like that well, am I? <laughs> That rod would have been in the water and there would have been as many naughty words as I can remember. Tom, you're a god. You are a god. That is absolutely perfect. Slacken off. Slacken off. That's it. You are, you are a god, mate. That is right in front of the camera. Absolutely perfection. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. He's got it. He's got it. Surely that's got him. Surely. He's got it. It's a big one. It's on. a big one. Yes, come on. Yes. Uh, 53.40. Get in. <laughs> Come on. Well, it wasn't too close to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Don't. I know which one it is as well. I oh, don't say it. I know which one it is. Is it, is it slow and ponderous? Yeah. Yeah, it's a slow and ponderous carp, that is. Didn't quite see it. I saw exactly what one it was. Oh, did you? Yep. I don't think it's big. that big, though, is it? Don't do that, Dan. <laughs> what, the one that's taking slow and ponderous yeah, yeah, line? Right. <laughs> what a lad coming straight in and taking it. Yeah, mate, it was what amazing. It was amazing. I, f I, I reckon it's not as big as we think it is, or you think it is, because it was so close to the camera. Yeah, but I reckon I saw the shape of its tail and oh, I've been right. looking at it for the last 15 days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, possibly. That's on a rig that, what, that was been at least three mouths, isn't it, on that other cast? At it's, least three mouths. Well, no, it went, it, three went down to take it. One definitely didn't go in the mouth and the other one we didn't know, so definitely one, probably two. Right. Well, it's just normal fishing, isn't it? You're getting picked I, up I think several just, times like, before I think you catch not, one. Unless think... you're really lucky, like, what just happened? Yeah, I just think you've been. I was maybe I was being more hard on myself than I should have yesterday, but I still I still think yesterday we should have got more bites. This this seems to be better. We've changed the rig ever so slightly, and it's it's worked better than the ones yesterday did anyway, isn't it? So far. It's only ten o'clock. You've got be, all day yet. Don't be mean, Dan. <laughs> don't be mean. Don't be nasty. Oh. Yeah, he's the one I thought it was. Let's come off. Good. It's worked. The cog's worth perfectly. Get in the net! Get in my net! Yes! Come on! Get in! Better start you to the, the morning. Man. Better yeah. start to the morning. <laughs> come on. Yeah, he's the one I thought he was. That's wicked. Thirty-five pounds. That's wicked. Thirty-five pounds. Yes. <laughs> 
Oh man. What a start, what an absolute start to the day that is. It is a 30 pounder. Get in. 35. 35, 12, mate. What a way to start the morning. Check that out. 35 pound, 12 ounce. I can't explain how happy I am with this one. I caught him on a similar thing to I started with, which was a seven inch end trap hook link, a semi stiff one, uh, a size six trolley hook. And I've just sort of pulled a little bit back to do a little bit of a hinge, just a, sort of an inch from the hook. And it seems to have nailed him straight away. Wicked. Yes, Tom, yes. Bang on, mate. Bang on, bang on. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Foam came off as it came down, so it's pushed it away from the lead, um, you know, the, exactly the way we want it, away from the tubing and everything, the opposite, opposite direction. Looks brilliant. Just had a really big fish come in the swim. Um, we're getting troubled by pike because there's flow coming into the, the lake from a pipe that's right by where the camera is, which is part of the reason why we put it there in the first place, because the fish love it. Um, but we've noticed pike time after time coming and sitting in the flow, like they were sitting in a river. And um, obviously there's, there's fresh water coming through, so there's loads of oxygen coming through. So all fish like to be there. Um, but we've just noticed every time a pike really hovers over it, the carp are reluctant to feed, even though the carp are three times the size of the pike. Um, it, I guess it's still a predator. Um, but when the pike drifts off, the carp really starts to feed properly. But just then, as the pike was sort of in the edge of the picture, a really big fish has come down and fed no more than a foot from the hook bait. And it was a real, real there's one coming in now as well, actually. Uh, it's not as big a fish. Is it one that we know? I think it might be our friend Gums. It is our friend Gums. He's just coming into shot. His mouth's always open. He can't properly close his mouth for some reason and uh, he's just drifting over the hook bait now and is away. But the activity is really hotting up. I reckon Tom could get another chance really soon. Right, okay, this has been in the water for two hours now and the only difference between this and the one I had to pick up on earlier and all of the interest yesterday was the colour of that little top hook bait there. This is the goo, but tutti fruity one and not the almond one, which was pink before. And I think it's probably the pink color that was making a difference. So reeled it in, gonna change it and get it back out there. Yes, Tom, perfect, absolutely perfect. Slacking off, mate, slacking off, absolutely perfect. I've noticed that when you bait up, the fish come straight in for a look. Do they? Straight in, mate. But I think it's better to cast first and bait after. Mm. And I don't normally, I wouldn't normally do that in a fishing situation. No. I'd want to put bait out to try and scare them away. But they're so turned on, they've fed on that spot for so long now, and there's so many in the bay. So they're just they're, towards they're, it. But I think you, you need to cut the handfuls in and make a load of splash, get rid of them with bait, yeah. cast in, and then do your up and yeah. down the margin and everything else. That's what that's, I was saying to, that's that's, what I was saying to him yesterday. That that's bait before and after bait during my casting so it's yes. like they're in and out and in and out but it's bait that's sort of they say make yeah. it feel like there's bait that's yeah. doing it look no straight, down, on, for it. On, straight down, down for it straight down for it go on oh, oh. He's look at how mad is that that's like that's been on, on that's been out like that's been fishing five seconds <laughs> and the other one was out there for two hours how does it make a difference how does it make a difference well obviously something about it yeah Definitely the colour, but maybe maybe the smell and taste as 100 well. Hundred percent the colour and the and the and the taste is good enough. Because the bottom eat. bit's the same, isn't it? The bottom bit's the same bottom as what you put same, on yeah. before. So yeah. it's just it's soaked a uh, cell soaked in the pineapple supreme yeah. and the pineapple smoke over yeah. the top. Yeah, that's the same as before. But now we've got the almond, the almond which has turned that white into a pink. milky toffee pop up into yeah. a into a pink one. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's going. Tom, 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 got him. Oh, oh. done ya. Totally and utterly done ya. Totally and utterly done ya. Had it in his mouth, everything. What's happened to the lead? Uh, he's moved the lead. A million percent he moved the lead. I thought I had him then, didn't you? I thought you had him as well. 
Uh, the, yeah, the, the lead's all still set. It's all really it's definitely, definitely moved the lead. Right, we're on the top of the hill now where we've been baiting up and down this long left-hand margin that we're casting to. Obviously, because we're only fishing during the day, we've got the nights that we can put bait out and make sure the fish are feeding. So what we've decided to do is, these 15 mil cell boilies, we've been baiting up probably three kilos every single night, um, just spreading it up and down so they don't get cautious of the spot where the camera is. Doing the same with just a small handful of tigers as well, probably putting half a kilo out at night, and then just throughout the day sprinkling a similar amount out. Oh, this corn's frozen now. And corn, doing exactly the same, just spreading it out, making sure that they don't get cautious of that spot. They seem to be really liking it. I'm just gonna put some out now. Here we go, here, here we, we go. go, here we go, here we go. Oh! That was a monster. That was a monster. That was a monster. How, what one was that? That was an absolute monster. Tom's wound his rig in, and quite rightly so. It's been in three different mouths now and hasn't converted any of the chances at all. Uh, one of them was a particularly big fish. We think probably an upper 30, maybe even a 40. Um, and you clearly saw it suck it in. You know, it didn't like tighten up against the lead, realised something's wrong and has just blown it out. One's come in straight afterwards and picked it up again and not hooked itself either. So what Tom's going to do is shorten the hook link down and he's going to change the lead system. He's going to go away from a semi-fixed lead, which the cog is, to a running lead clip setup. So basically as the fish picks it up and does that, rather than the lead moving, the line's going to pull through the lead clip and hopefully the fish won't have any slack line to get rid of the hook. So there is sort of alterations. Now the rig's come out of the water, the fish are in there and having it again, they absolutely know we are fishing for them. And anyone that says that camouflage doesn't make any difference it is insane in my opinion. The more you can get it to blend in, the more you can get that line on the deck, the easier they are to catch, definitely. Well, after three casts, um, Tom's landed it right in the middle of the shot. I haven't got to move anything at all. It's absolutely perfect. It's so difficult with a crosswind and everything else. And just, if the rod's there, it lands in one place. If the rod's there, it lands in another place. It, you know, you've got to be so, so good at casting to get it in there. And Tom's doing a really good job. Really good job. Let's see how the fish react to this rig. Oh. Yes, go on. Yep. You got him, you got him. He's got him. Come on. Tense times, now. son. Oh, mate, it's Tense times. Absolutely unbelievable. It's well, at worse. least we'll, we'll it's find out how big it is. It is. Hey? It's worse. Oh, don't do that. It's worse when you know what one is. I don't like this at all. We, well, we don't know what fish it is because we were just looking through the uh, the menu. Yeah, it kept, uh, it kept, kept coming in, hasn't it, the last two hours and feeding. Yeah, yeah. It's done me once already. It's done you once already yeah. on exactly the same rig. No, 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 it was before I changed it to the running. This oh, is right, running okay. now, isn't it? Yeah. Mate, they love that arm on top, don't they? It's unbelievable. It's actually unbelievable how many times I've taken it. Yeah, yeah. all that bait in the swim, but they've definitely turned on again. What is it? It's uh, quarter past five. Quarter past five, good. Just We've about bit, bite time, isn't these it? These are good hours from now on, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they are, mate, yeah. He's not doing a massive amount, is he? No. For a, for a good fish. Oh, it's heard me. Oh. <laughs> Did you have to say that, Dad? Sorry. Oh, I won't my say anything God. else. Look at that. Look at them. Hey. It's like, like a tidal wave off the front of him now. You, you've got to think that there might be, oh, there might be weed on it because um, the lead wouldn't have come off because I've got it running, haven't I? Yeah. Have Luckily running, the weed yeah. isn't too bad, but I just want to be, um, just going to be conscious of it. So the running rig worked. Absolutely. Do you know what, I just think you'll get, no matter what happens, you, you're, you're getting blown out all the time. You're getting turned over. You are. Whatever you're, rig you're you've just got on, getting turned over. You're getting turned over on a regular basis. You've and just, just by law it. of averages, if you've, got, if you've got something on that resets itself, there's a little bit of buoyancy in the top of the hook bait. And they want your hook bait. <laughs> and they want your hook bait, then you're going to get a second chance. Because that has been, that's been sort of, I reckon it's been in at least one fish's mouth, maybe two, and it's been looked at quite a lot of other times yeah. and blown around the swim just by fish movement. But, but time-wise, if you was fishing normally, oh, you it would, wouldn't have felt like a long time. No, you it. Wouldn't it would have an eyelid. What is it, an hour? Something like that, it's been out there? Yeah. You'd have been really pleased with that, when yeah. really you could have caught one in 20 minutes. 
Let's just find well, out what it is. Well, you could have caught one in two minutes of casting out, couldn't you? Oh, just go, please just go in the net. Yeah, he will, mate, he will. Go on. Get in the Come net. Come on. Get in. Go on, Thomas. They actually don't come much better than that. Check him out. 37 pounds, two ounces on the underwater camera. I'm absolutely gobsmacked. We caught him in exactly the same rig as before. My favourite semi-stiff end trap hook link, but this time the lead was running. Got him first time. Absolutely amazing. You're gonna get a bite, you're gonna get a bite. No. Oh. Dan's mate, isn't he? No, oh, I don't know. He's in scale at the front, Dan's mate. Don't know. That was close. Thomas. It says it all, didn't it? Epic three days. Yeah, it was. Epic. It was wicked. You've angled really well, mate. I'm well impressed. Yeah. Well impressed. Yeah, it was good. It was, it was so exciting. It's, it's harsh on your head, isn't it? What doing yeah. this. You don't realise what it's like sitting behind this and your rig's out there and everything's under scrutiny and trying to cast with the pressure and the, the whole experience is brilliant. You feel like you've got to tie the best rig in the world because everyone's going to be oh, looking yeah. at it. Oh, and yeah. if you tie it and something's wrong with it and but that's what you it do. snaps you make, or... But that's what happens, I think. You tie it, you make it fit. This is perfect, perfect cast out and it just gets mugged off. <laughs> that's just what happens. It's, it's exciting. That's, that's fishing, isn't it? So mm. We hand over to Hamidi tomorrow. Yeah, very two very tough acts to follow. <laughs> no, I've had a little fleeting Shut going up. in the hot seat, in the hot seat but um, Dovey's just done us proud and he and, yeah. and you done us proud beforehand so um i'm bricking it <laughs> <laughs> because but you're to gonna be... catch the box mate i'm telling you you're gonna catch the box he's in there feeding i can't believe i'm caught it today it's 100 he's definitely gonna catch it I definitely don't, mate, i don't know but what i do know is what i've seen obviously you guys do is obviously helped me out massively to to, to have a chain to follow really yeah too right um, so i can only cock it up <laughs> 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 but I thought, you know, obviously the, you know, you, you, the, the, the pink colour from you, then it, it's passed over to Tom, who's obviously got... The spread bait in has yeah, worked brilliantly. And, and the hook bait that's working for you that I'll obviously use. And and we, we also know that the little trickle of corn when it's not happening, if the water goes cold and, and the wind changes and goes cold, maybe a little bit of that can get him going. So... You've given me all the cards. So basically, yeah, yeah, basically, yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> just it's need should, them to it should be up. easy from tomorrow, <laughs> yeah. shouldn't it? Surely. Yeah, as long as the casting goes well, you know, the first first day I did it, it was it was rough on the old head at the start with the clip and that, but once you get in the tune of it, yeah, it felt felt quite good. So, mate, you'll catch them. Don't you worry, you'll catch them. But well done, son. Thanks, You're mate, a legend. Nice Thanks, <laughs> mate. Life a lot easier. <laughs>